All right, you delightful human beings, welcome back to the 10,000th reaction that we've done in the past week. I'm Christina, aka <laughs> that variety nerd, and today we are here with this week's NXT UK reaction video. If I sound a little bit sleepy, that is definitely because I am. I low key just took a two to three hour nap, and it's like nearly nine o'clock right now. So, needless to say, we're a little bit more refreshed, hopefully, uh, to do this reaction. So last week we had the Prelude special. This week we're kind of getting the fallout from it. Again, it's kind of in the similar artery as to what we've been seeing all week with WWE programming. Just sort of the fallout of all these specials and pay-per-views and all that stuff. So as per usual, just grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, and make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure that your notifications are indeed turned on so you get notified whenever we have an upload and that sort of thing. So yeah, before we dive into this episode slash this week's reaction, um, I feel like, you know, we need to comment on the releases that happened today, uh, just in general. It's kind of a bummer, just, you know, because, again, we had the same sort of situation happen last year. Apparently, the reasons are budget cuts, which I, quite frankly, don't buy. I mean, look at the freaking Peacock deal! The latest name came in about two or three hours ago at the time recording this, so, you know, during dinner time and whatnot, that was Mojo Raleigh, so... Who knows, there might be more people, unfortunately, getting added to the lengthy slash growing list of people getting released, but I do wish them all the best, and, you know, I'm excited to see where everybody's going to go next uh, once the non-compete clause expires, of course. And you know what? This is sort of one of these things where it's like, we just have to really root for everybody and just hope for the best for everybody's future, uh, especially in these really unpredictable times that we're in. So, again, best of luck, best wishes to everybody. And, you know, hopefully there's no more added onto the list. And, and this is at the time of recording, which is 10 o'clock at night on April 15th. So, there you have it. Let's, now let's dive, now let's dive into the reaction. All right, so this week's NXT UK sort of popped up with uh, everything that happened over WrestleMania week, it was kind of nice how they acknowledged, you know, the past stars of NXT UK, like at NXT TakeOver, and also in the case of Rhea Ripley being at WrestleMania. I thought that was a cool way to start things off. But for now, it is time to get into our very first match of the week. Okay, but I really like this Nathan Fraser dude. I really do. He's fun to watch. And I think, how many weeks is this now? I think, like, almost every every other week, he's kind of opened up NXT UK, at least since we've been doing these reaction videos for the past month or so now. I'm not going to complain one bit. He's a good person to open up a show just because of all of his energy and stuff. And I love it. I've said this in a couple of reactions now, but this dude is like a freaking cat. He just keeps landing everywhere. I'm just like, how? How do you do this? Oh, poop. He just got caught. Okay, well, couldn't land on his feet that time. <laughs> oh, I think he got caught. Oh, God, right into the turnbuckle. Whew. Yikes. Th this dude's just chucking Fraser just everywhere across the ring, and I'm just like, oh, God, that just does not look fun. Oh, my God, what a boot from Huxley. I think Nigel's kind of spot on on that one. Huxley's just like throwing poor Fraser just everywhere. <laughs> what is this dude going to be up to here? Oh my, where did he come from? <laughs> that was, that was very quick dive onto the outside right there. How, how is he going to get him back into the ring though? I mean, unless if he wants to go for a count out win, which you know, that that's a thing of course. All right, this might be the opening that Fraser needs. All right, let's see what happens here. And there we go. Fraser just won the match right here. Overall, not a bad match to kick things off. It accomplished what it needed to accomplish, and I think that's, you know, always a positive thing. Right? Right. All right, so we have this interview here with these two dudes. <laughs> Honestly, the, it, Shaw Samuels just has no chill at all. And then there's Noam Dar that's just like, you know, just, all right, let's let's take this one move at a time. Let's let's think things through. <laughs> but you know what? I actually really like this team together. I really do. All right, so it appears to be that we are getting a match with Noam Dar and Shaw Samuels versus Mustache Mountain next week. I'm already excited. Okay, so before we go into this next little chunk here... I just got the strangest ad on Peacock! So they had this weird crossover ad with Alexa Bliss 
and uh, some of the Firefly Funhouse characters with, like, Law and Order, and it was, like, the strangest experience I've ever had. At least in terms of ad segments. <laughs> let's let's keep this going, please! Yo, I always look forward to, like, this part. <laughs> this has genuinely been one of my personal favorites of, of NXT UK since the relaunch. <laughs> Noam Dar is just so entertaining, and I love it. All right, we've got Gallus returning. <laughs> I love how they took over the couch for once. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, like, college almost, when you're, like, trying to have a bunch of people in your apartment for whatever reason, and it's like, everybody's just trying to, like, just stack on top of each other, and it's like, this is clearly not gonna work. Or, like, when you first move in, and, like, all you have is, like, maybe your couch or something like that, and it's like, everybody's just piling on top of the couch. You know what, I respect that. Take a few weeks off and, you know, regroup, refocus, train, refocus that energy. I'm all for it. Wait, who just started coughing? I'm really concerned here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like who started coughing, and I think it was Eddie Dennis here. It's like we're in the middle of a panini. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Gallus going after, like, Eddie Dennis and, you know, his team and stuff like that. I'm sensing we're going to get at least one or two matches out of this, possibly... Yep, just just don't move, Noam. Don't move. <laughs> don't move. Just stay right where you're at. This dude's just like storming right for the freaking door. Oh my god, the door's <laughs> the door's locked. <laughs> the massive just like opened it really quickly, then just slammed it back shut. The door, I should say. But I I think we're gonna get a match between uh, Gradwell and uh, Mastiff. J just based on the interaction alone, like. <laughs> It's like, so how did this get started? Well, he just didn't want to let him in the door. <laughs> Good lord, that's so dang bright. Okay, um, can we cool it back on the lighting a little bit? Besides that, I, I enjoy seeing these two back together. I, I genuinely do. Okay, but that's how tag teams, like, if you have this sort of a situation where you have two really good people on their own do it, like, it's nice to have somebody in your corner. I, I can respect this direction. All right, I'm excited. Sign me up for that tag team match next week. All right, so we had a lot of interesting developments in the women's division last week. I, I feel like a good chunk of us have our own dark side. But yeah, if you didn't get a chance to catch last week's tag team match or episode in general, definitely recommend checking it out. But I thought the tag team match was a good little, like, appetizer platter of sorts for the women's division in particular, so... All right, here we go. I'm, I'm excited just to see where the direction is going with the women's division. Look, I am all for this new character development for Isla Dawn. I'm, I'm all for it. I, I'm a fan. Oh, what's going on here? Oh! Oh, definitely a very smooth counter from that suplex right there. That was good. That was cool. This is a very interesting submission hold. I don't know if I've seen it yet or if I've just been, like, taking a cat nap or something. Well, to be fair, I did take a cat nap before I uh, started recording this. I mean, to be honest, this could really be anybody's match. I mean, they both need the momentum. Oof, what a big back suplex right there. We've had some pretty interesting, like, pinning situations in this matchup. Like, you know, counters into pins and stuff like that. I'm all for it. Oh! Oh, God! She just, she just went right into the big boot right there. All right, looks like Isla Dawn just won the match right here. I'm actually all for it. It helps build some momentum for her, like... And it makes sense because she's kind of going under this, like, character development transformation situation. I'm still a little confused about how this team came about, really, but it works. So, wait, was there anything that sort of initiated this sort of feud thing with Ginny and Danny Luna? It was there? Okay, but I really like this lighting that they've got going on. It works. I'm interested to see where all this is going to go next. Honestly, I like this friendship with Jack Stars and Piper Niven. I genuinely do. But can he actually get a win? Because, like, I don't think this dude's won a singles match, no? Like, I remember they won the mixed tag match a little while ago. Always forward. Okay, I can appreciate that, but sometimes you need to kind of revisit some stuff to, well, go forward, right? Right. I don't know. I like how they're kind of pairing more and more people together, just whether that's like for a singles match, you know, that sort of thing, like for moral support almost. I don't know if that's even the right wording I want to use there either, but I think y'all get where I'm going with this. I think maybe, oh God, what a clothesline. 
God, I heard that over here, and I, f I, I feel like I just felt that, if we're being completely real. This is kind of- is this like the Jack Stars Redemption arc or something? Because I'm kind of here for- oh god, he just got caught. It's fine. It's totally fine. He's showing a lot of, you know, promising effort, and, I, and we're all for that. We're all for the growth and development of Jack Stars over here. And just in general, we like growth and development, right? Right. No! Oh my god, he actually won the match! Alright, so basically, they were going for the tag team titles, and Kenny was, like, trying to get some sneaky stuff in, you know, bending the rules a little bit, and Amir Jordan didn't like that, so they basically kind of just drifted apart. Well, I say drifted away, when it was really, like, Kenny Williams, he kind of just, you know, turned heel a couple weeks back, you know, during that tag team match. They have the whole video promo slash sort of, like, replay package thing on this episode before the match, and then, of course, on YouTube, I believe. So. But these two were kind of tagging up, like, basically on and off, at least, you know, as far as I know, like, for the better part of, what, like, two years or something like that now? Something like that? I don't know. But I'm really excited to see what they can do on their own now. Oh! He just got sent right into the steel steps. What is he doing? Oh, that's actually smart. He's kind of, like, sitting up on the top turnbuckle and kind of just kicking at him. I mean, I could see both sides of this whole situation. Like, you want to do things the right way and win the right way and stuff like that. So that way, it's more of an undisputed type of win. But at the same time, you also have to do whatever it takes to win a championship sometimes. Because desperate times come with desperate measures. You know, I was kind of expecting this match to just be a little bit more... I don't know, something... I, I It's like, the match is okay. I feel like there's something that needs to be there. I don't know. Maybe it's setting up for another match between these two. I don't know, but something feels a little bit missing. I don't know what it is, but it's like these two were like friends and tag team partners for a couple of years, so it's sort of like you expect the fallout to be a little bit more emotional. Maybe that's what's missing. I don't know. Nice counter right there. Want to see what Jordan does here? Oh my god, what's going on with Kenny Williams? Like, do, do y'all see that, like, on his, like, right side, lower back area, I think? Ooh, that was a close two count. That was genuinely a close two count. I feel like this, I feel like this is probably not going to be the first time we see these two against each other. These two are just throwing it all that they have at each other. I don't know, I feel like this sort of a match probably could have used the stipulation of sorts, right? That could be it, that could be it. Oh! That was a very, very close count. I know I said that a couple times. That that one was very close. Man, the poor referee just got, like, backed up into the corner like that. Y'all. I was gonna say, hold up here. He went for that middle turnbuckle, like, a couple seconds ago. Yeah, something felt a little bit off about this match. I don't know why or how, but I still enjoyed it. You know, I feel like we just got spoiled the last few weeks with our main events, to be completely honest. And yeah, again, I feel like something was missing about this match. I don't know if it was maybe a stipulation or something like that. I know it's like, Christina, you don't need all these stipulations. And it's like, well, if you use them with the right, you know, stories and feuds and stuff like that, then it can work, right? Right. But I think based on the shenanigans that happened towards the end, I don't think this is the last time we're going to see these two in the ring together. I really don't. All right, well, final thoughts. Uh, first of all, uh, definitely appreciate Peacock for getting the uh, limited ads situation kind of a little bit more under control. You've got to give credit where credit is due. We might not like it, but it's what we're stuck with here in the States, unless if there are other means. Uh, this week was kind of a bit of a cool down episode, but it set up a lot of things. Uh, we already have a decent show coming in fold next week for sure which I'm already excited about. I'm interested to see where basically everybody goes. And yeah, it was pretty much like kind of a cool down show from last week's Prelude episode and very similarly in the arteries of basically all the other WWE programming from this week because it was WrestleMania week <laughs> for the last few days or whatever it was. And so, you know, every show kind of needs a bit of a cool down episode, but we also set up a few new feuds and matches and potential things that could happen. And so this episode did what it needed to accomplish. Uh, but yeah, wasn't a bad episode. Not the strongest episode neither, but it was still pretty fun to watch. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this week's NXT UK and our subsequent reaction video over here. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy in these crazy times. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, 
and let me know what you all thought about this week's NXT UK. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that way you know when we get an upload here on the channel. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>